Late in the season and way up in the race, a team is reminded not to take its eye off the ball. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. Russell Daniels with less than a month to play. The man who sits atop the home run leaderboard looks to add some insurance to his lead next. Sixto Sanchez, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do you have for us on him, Danny? One of the things that jumps out, if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. That Let's see cool. if he can turn it around in this one. Stepping into the box, Russell Daniels. His squad has put together a strong year, and his home run production has certainly been a big part of it. Yeah, he certainly has. He's been the bright spot for this team. Anytime in a big spot they've needed a big knock, he has seen to be the guy. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. Two out here and a runner at second. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Sanchez is known to have exceptional stuff. His strikeout numbers are eye-popping, but at times he does get himself in hot water with the base on balls. Matty V, the stuff has never been a question with this guy. It's been about containing the stuff and having command of the strike zone. He has really good strikeout ball. pitches. The problem is he'll get ball one, he'll get ball two, and he sometimes isn't really in attack mode, and that leads him to walking a lot of batters. And there are our umpires oh, calling balls and strikes is Mr. Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well-liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit it. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Now batting, Harold Ramirez. Batting second. He drove in the other the of the two runs runner. in that game yesterday. Harold. Ramirez. 3 2 pitch. In the air out to left. Two, two, Daniels two. comes in a few steps as he Nobody hauls it in for the first out. So here's Daniel Ponca now. And a quick Leading glance at the numbers Marlin. will tell you it's been a the huge struggle field. for him at the plate Daniel. this year. Ponca. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Now a reaching grab as he makes the play and loses his balance all at once. That's just a great effort from him out there. Good hustle to make the reaching grab and then the barrel roll for style points. I'll give him a 10. Stepping in, Harold Ramirez. Both for one for him here the in this one. Fielder, Harold Ramirez. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Looking up is the left fielder, still ranging back. And it's gone! A solo shot here to left. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Marlins have taken a 2 to nothing lead. He's one of the best home run hitters in the league. And rightfully so. You're not going to get cookies thrown at you every at bat. Most guys can handle a fastball, but he waited back on that also. So coming now to the back. plate, Russell Daniels. He's Russell. 0 for 1 thus far. Daniel. 
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey, let it fly up there, huh? Oh, one, here's the pitch. Ball one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Couldn't lay off that ball, time, and it's one and strike. two. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing hey, your off right here? That's it. what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. The one, two. Misses for the second down. ball. Two two. Hey, let it rip. Let it rip. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys the is exactly what we saw right in. there. Pitchers Three. work around them and nibble oh, the corners yeah. a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. The 1-0 home. Pitch inside the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position. Digging in once again, Russell Daniels comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. And he commits to the pitch inside, and he definitely went around that strike one. All right, let's address the elephant in the room right here. This guy's absolutely dealing, throwing a no hitter, but that pitch count's getting up there. He's going to have to be super efficient in these later innings if his manager's going to give him a shot. Fouled off. Ready on one and two. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Drive that pitch, huh? Here you go. Ball. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls, two balls and two strikes. Two strike. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the now zone. Three, Count two. full now. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. 3-2 pitch. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the lead. Digging in. Andrew now Vaughn. No hits to this man. point. Andrew Vaughn. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he will get there to make the running play. And that will end the inning. Marlon Strand a pair. But they lead it 3-0. At the plate, Russell Daniels. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Daniel. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Lede is there, and there are two men gone now. Yeah, you know what's amazing? A combined no-hitter is even more rare than a complete game no-hitter. So it's not something you see every day or every year for that matter. And that's what you call a total team effort. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top's player of the game.
Yeah, probably the easiest player of the game decision we'll have to make all year. He got some help along the way from his defense, but all in all, this was his show, and he winds up in the history books with a no-hitter. Here now is the final line score tonight. First, for the victorious Miami Marlins, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Jordan Yamamoto, the right-hander from the Aloha State, gets the call on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look four. to turn things around in the this one here today. So Russell. now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Daniel. Russell Daniels. His squad on, has put fly. together a strong year, and his home run production has certainly been a big part of it. Yeah, he certainly has. He's been the bright spot for this team. Anytime in a big spot they've needed a big knock, he has seen to be the guy. And rightfully so, as we get down to the tight games at the end of the season, his offensive production has got to continue. And he's fighting for a home run title. One and one the count now. Runners are at first and second with one away. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Yamamoto has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. The one two hit hard down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Your pitch right here. Let's go, bud. And a swing and a miss. So the NL's leading hitter is set down on strikes, and there are two gone. So digging in now, Connor Scott, now runner in scoring position with two gone. Connor. Yeah. This one's flared out toward left. Left fielder coming on. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And the runner will score from second. Scott blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And he's safe at the plate. And they lead now by four. Boy, the home fans are loving that inside. All set for the start of the fourth. Digging in to try it again. Russell Daniels. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Fouled away. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Hey, get your pitch up there. Come on now. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. A little too much tilt on that breaking ball as it misses low. And that's swung on and missed. So good work on the mound will take care of the National League's leading hitter, and there's one away. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts. Now batting, left fielder, Russell Daniels. At the plate, Russell Daniels. As he'll get out ahead of a changeup and one. swing through it for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far right, in this one. Right Outside for a ball, one and one. 
Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Very high, two and one. Cabrera, a native of the Dominican Republic. He's in his third season as a major league player. Hey, get your pitch up there and do something with it. Let's go. A 3-1 count to the Phillies left fielder. Reese Hoskins waits on deck. And it's fouled away. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Down the left field line and deep. And no one will get this one. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. And he fouls this one off. There you go, left fly. A letter rip one time. The three, two, one more time. Oh, this is hit high and oh, deep up, out to left. Up. Hawker is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Stepping up now, Russell Daniels. And even though we discussed his power hitting prowess earlier in the broadcast, we haven't gotten to see it on display so far in this one. But every time this guy steps in the box, he's one swing away. If he misses over the heart of the plate, I promise you this ball's leaving. Hawker is there, one quick out to start inning number. Wow, a nine out save. That's three full innings. You don't see that very you often know, these the days. Final line it's awfully tonight. nice to have a guy First, in the back of the your bullpen Miami that can Marlins. pitch that kind of work. Five runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Pablo Lopez, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. He's been a little bit inconsistent. One good game, one bad game. But don't let that whip fool you. This guy's a much better pitcher than that. And if he brings his A game, he could be awfully tough in this one. These Marlins as they take the field this afternoon. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late. Five and three in their last eight games. Oh, yeah, Matty boy. It's time right here, d to start getting greedy. You win the first. So striding forward that now, that. Jorge Alfaro. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no Alfaro. surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Swing, and he pops him up. Kingery is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the... Here's goes. Put a charge Stepping right up here. to the go. plate, now Russell back. Daniels. 0 for 1 for him Russell. here in this one. Daniel. Here comes the first pitch. Now, now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that change up. So far in this one, they've been real one smart ball, to let it go. Break. Count now a ball and a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Let a rip right here. Let's go. Two two to count. Get a good rip on it, huh? On the ground to third. Scooped up. And oh. there's one down now. Now at the plate, Jazz Chisholm. Leading He's off. driven Four in three Marlins. runs on three hits That's so far in the series. Yeah. Hey, we're still in the early stages yeah. of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And he's going to have room to put this one away. And that's the first out. So here's Daniel Ponka now. He's now 0 for 1 thus far. The left fielder, Daniel Ponka. 
The wind up and the 0 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One. Striding in, Russell Daniels. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Daniel. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, and a hearty oh, cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. 0 oh, 1 pitch, and he can't oh, make there. contact yeah, on the bender. 0 oh, 2. Hey, this guy's so aggressive. I don't think this pitch is anywhere near the zone. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. So stepping in, Russell Daniels. And even though we discussed his power hitting prowess earlier in the broadcast, we haven't gotten to see it on display so far in this one. But every time this guy steps in the box, he's one swing away. If he misses over the heart of the plate, I promise you this ball's leaving. They've done a real nice job keeping this guy into wraps in this one. No hits for him so far, and what stands out to me is they're going right after him. They're not pitching him like they're afraid he's going to do any damage. The 1-1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Get your pitch. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Hey, your pitch, your pitch. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Into the box now, Reese Hoskins. He's two for three and looking for more here. Oh, big guy, get your pitch, huh? The 0 2 delivery. Skied into straightaway right. Come on, go hard, you're scoring. Go hard. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is Now at the plate, Lewin Diaz, as he'll look to bring home that tying the run from second man. with a base hit into the Run outfield. Way. Diaz. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Three, three, three. Daniels will drift over right, to his right it, a few it. steps as he takes it for the second out. Now in the box, Jorge Alfaro, oh, lifetime against this pitcher, the batting catcher. at an even 400. Jorge. Trying to hold Alfaro. the lead, here's the delivery. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Daniels is there to make the catch, and they'll get out of this with the lead intact. On two. Now batting, the left fielder, Russell Daniel. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Hampson at second, Harper on at first with two down. Come on, big guy, come on, buddy. A swinging strike, yep. and now okay. it's 0-2. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0 2 in a hey, big, big spot. And he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. It might be. It could be. It's gone. A home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. Well, we certainly mentioned the fact that this guy leads the league in home runs, and now he's got one more to add to that total. Perfect swing right there in a home run to left field. Ready now for the Marlins. J.J. Blade. He could really right use a field. knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Blade. Miami Blade. down to their last strike. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. 
And he'll make the final out to put an end to this one. And the Phillies will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. Six to two, the final total today. The Phillies, with their 105th win best in the division. Luis Severino earns win number 15 on the year. Aroldis Chapman works two full innings in relief to record the First save, the his fifth of the year.